Belief debugging is a process for testing whether a belief that you hold positively benefits or serves you. It was originally developed by Byron Katie and it's helped me and many people all over the world to live a better life. So why would you want to analyze your beliefs? Well, otherwise you may spend your life operating and making choices out of a state of projection and not reality. You may make certain assumptions about the world and people which lead you to having a kind of miserable life. And by bringing these beliefs into our awareness and questioning them, we might be able to move beyond the stories we tell ourselves and come into contact with healthier ways of being. So what's an example of a belief which might not serve you? Well, there's kind of three places that I'd like to look. The first is self-limiting beliefs, which I generally arrive at through journaling or reflecting. What I'm looking for is a blurt or a, a short phrase which I say to myself, which I know doesn't make me feel good. For instance, when I leave parties, I often find myself thinking, oh, you're kind of boring and socially awkward and borderline autistic or something like that. And, or when I'm in a room full of smart people, I catch myself saying, oh, I'm not as smart as them and you know, I never will be. The second place is relational beliefs such as, oh, Sarah hates me and doesn't find me interesting or my parents never loved me. And thirdly, you could have kind of macro beliefs or beliefs about the world outside of you, such as all Muslims are terrible people or that guy who overtook me is an asshole. <laughs> um, and all of these cause some kind of negative effect in our psyche. So let's pull them into notion. Um, firstly, I'd start with journaling or brain dumping to capture a bunch of beliefs. I've got a few here. Um, and then kind of grab all of these and dump them into um, this table here. So you can click here in Notion and drag them until you see this blue line here. Boop. Great. And if you click into any of these, you'll see that there is a template called click here for a new belief. Boop. And it'll create this template in Notion. And so what you're going to do here is kind of take this uh, belief that you've captured either through journaling or reflecting and just write it here on the first line. So uh, I'm kind of boring and socially awkward. And then you're just going to go through these questions one at a time for each belief. So let's take this one. First, ask yourself, is it true? Some of you might say, yeah, of course it's true, duh. I wouldn't be believing otherwise. And then I just want you to check in with yourself and actually ask yourself, can you absolutely know for sure that it's true? Well, it's, I can't tell for sure. I don't have enough data. It's meh, no. And then kind of ask yourself, how do you react and what happens when you believe that thought? And underneath that are some prompts. Uh, let's look at the first one. What emotions arise when you believe that thought? Well, uh, well, I get kind of sad. I'm withdrawn and afraid of approaching people in social settings. Oh, second prompt, what images of past and future do you see when you believe the thought? Um, a future of this belief is one where, you know, I don't have the confidence to like walk up to people and connect with them. Um, t -t -t -t. Third prompt, how do you treat yourself and others when you believe the thought? Uh, what happens? Well, I drop out of drop out of conversations with them, even when they're getting kind of exciting. So just kind of go through and journal through 
this third question. Um, kind of stream your consciousness into the little text box here. And then ask yourself the fourth, que fourth question. Uh, who would you be without that thought? Um, who or what are you without the thought? What new options arise? Well, I could be confident. Um, I could be less withdrawn and engage with more people, find connection, all of these cool things. Um, and again, just stream and kind of tap in to the feeling. And then finally, this is where it kind of gets interesting. Let's turn the thought around. So this example is here on the left. The statement might be, he hurt me. And we're going to kind of explore different ways of writing the sentences. Um, the opposites being, I hurt me, or I hurt him. He didn't hurt me, he helped me. Um, kind of go through this list and try and find opposites, and then just reflect on which sentences feel truer um, or feel more resonant in your body and offer you kind of new insight into the situation. So I'll go ahead and remember that my phrase is, I'm boring and socially awkward. So a simple one here is I'm not boring or socially awkward. Um, they are boring and socially awkward. I'm confident and compassionate. Um, and find a way of connecting. So again, just kind of brainstorm and write through different opposites of this statement. Um, that third one kind of came out a bit more of a, yeah, an interesting place for me. Uh, I find it to relate with some of my actual experience and I can somehow find truth in moments when that has been the case where I have been confident and found a way of connecting. Um, and then finally here, uh, you can just, just reflect on what you found on the above process. Um, how does the situation feel now? Um, for me right now, there's a sense of possibility that I can actually connect and not be socially awkward. I'm, I don't have enough data or people telling me that I'm boring. It's just something I tell myself. And I think you get the picture. Just kind of reflect here for a moment and once you're done, it happens all again. And we can step into the next belief in the process. And again, click here for a new template. And as you're capturing new beliefs or you're journaling, remember just to leave them up here and slowly drag them in one at a time. Uh, there's also a bonus little template here which has some information on, um, if you double click it, whoop, you get to see all of these emotion words. Here we are, in case you're short of emotions. And I hope this has been helpful and keep coming back to this. I find that in taking my beliefs and analyzing them one by one um, and coming into contact with more of reality and not making choices out of these kind of projections of the world um, 
and it just builds a deeper sense of reflection in my kind of moment to moment waking life. So if you want to get hold of this template, just head over to my personal site. I'll leave a link at the top for you guys.